Great, I created a page titled Top 10 AI Apps in Your Notion Workspace and added a list of AI apps based on my knowledge. So I'm developer advocate at FidiaStigate.live. So first let's get started with this project. To get started with this project, I have created a GitHub repository for you with an extensive readme of all the steps you need to get started with this project. Our AI voice agent has three major components. The agent component where you can create an agentic flow. Next component is pipeline where you can choose your favorite speech to speech model. And finally, you can create an instance of your existing session. So with video SDK, you can create web apps, cross-platform apps, Android, iOS, you name it. We are just creating an instance of these existing session. To get started with this project, all you need is a video SDK token. So let me create a virtual environment. I have this folder inside my root directory. Then I'm going to execute this activate script. And finally, I'm going to install all the packages that are there in this input file. Let's install all these dependencies. After everything is installed, we can uh, run our server using this script. Instance of our fast API server is app. So you'll find this app here. We have to specify that and the port number where uh, this app is going to run. Our server is running on port 002. Next, uh, we can make use of HTTP tunneling to, to make this URL a public URL. So we just need to add this uh, URL inside our client's environment file. And finally, we can run our client app using uh, npm run dev. As you can see, our application is running on port 8080. Now, let's see how we can integrate MCP servers. There are two ways we can connect to our MCP server. We can create those server uh, locally inside our file or we can make use of some hosted server. We just have to specify their base URL and we can track all the actions they perform. So first let's test a uh, locally created MCP server. So uh, to specify those server, we can make use of MCP server studio. So we provide two method, one for uh, local uh, locally created MCP server and second one is for server that are hosted somewhere. So here, as you can see, uh, we have these two files. So very first server is going to help us give current weather information. And second one is going to, uh, so first one will tell us current time actually. And second one will help us give the current weather information. So we are making an API request to open weather uh, endpoint. And here we are getting a current weather condition for different cities. So what I'm going to do now, I'll just create a copy of this. I'll add it here and I'll also specify its script. And now let's rerun our server. Let's invite AI agent. I think. How can I help you today? Hey, can you tell me what is the current time? Hi, Sumit. The current time is 5.49 p.m. on June 4th, 2025. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Yeah, that's great. Uh, can you also tell me what is the current weather condition in New York? Maybe tell me uh, the wind speed there. Okay. The current weather in New York City is partly cloudy with a temperature of 22 degrees Celsius and a wind speed of 13 meters per second. Is there anything else I can help you with? Now, uh, based on this recent information, our AI is not good. We can ask even more questions based on the recent data it has. Uh, hey, uh, based on the data you provided, can you tell me what are the things I can add to my backpack? I'm planning to visit uh, that location. Given that the weather in New York City is partly cloudy and the temperature is 22 degrees Celsius, 
I would suggest packing these items, a light jacket or sweater, sunglasses, sunscreen, and an umbrella or raincoat, just in case. Do you like more suggestions? Yeah, that's all I needed. Next, let's try even more interesting. Imagine you created your MCB server, you hosted it somewhere, and you want to test it with our AI voice agent. That is possible as well. For that, you have to make use of MCP server HTTP method where you can specify your uh, server's base URL. Then uh, you can just uh, run the server to test your MCP server and all the actions uh, you can also test them. Uh, for now, let me show you how this exactly works. So I'm simply going to create an MCP server inside Jepier. Uh, those who don't know what Jepier is, here you can create your MCP server and then you can test it with your existing workflow. So I'll create a MCP server. Uh, client for this server would be our own server as well. So I'll select other. Next, uh, let's name it Motion MCP server. There are three options. There is a URL to connect to that server. There is a history where you will see all the actions that it is going to perform. Let's add a tool called Notion. And I am giving it access to uh, all the operations. I'm not afraid of it. Perfect. Now I'll just simply copy this base url i'll place it inside uh, my .env file don't worry i'm going to remove it after testing and now we just simply have to run our server again that's how easy it is all right so now let's test it hey how can i help you today hey uh can you create a new page inside my uh notions main directory titled ai app directory I'm going to create a new page in your Notion workspace titled AI F directory. Does that sound right? No, uh, the page should title uh, top 10 AI apps. Okay. Got it. So you want the page to be titled top 10 AI apps instead. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. And make sure you add top 10 AI apps based on the knowledge you have. Okay. I will create a new page titled top 10 AI and list the top 10 AI apps based on my current knowledge. Give me a moment to generate that for you. Great, I've created a page titled Top 10 AI Apps in your Notion workspace and added a list of AI apps based on my knowledge. So, so it has created top 10 AI apps for us and we can also check in history the action it has performed. So it just basically created a page. Then it populated these top 10 AI apps and which we can see here. This was a very simple example. Using MCP, if you can do even more complex tasks, you can send an email to someone. You can make a call to thousands of people with the help of MCP tool. And then you can add this AI agent so that they can talk to this agent and they can provide uh, context. You can gather all the information. You can do a lot of cool stuff using MCP.